we go, here we go, here we go. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. This is a gift from Captain Leo. Captain Leo, you magnificent. Bastard. I was reading. I forgot where we were. You did it. Hey, you ready? Try it again. No. Well, I already did mine. Now it's your turn. You magnificent bastard. Oh. He goes, yours truly, the captain, or Leo. So I made it Captain Leo. Wait, wait. Captain, oh, all right. I thought it was going to be Captain Ron for a second. Yeah. You remember that? Captain, never, don't worry about it. He didn't know much Old about reference. it, but he is uh, a fan of it. This is a bottled and bond. This Waller. is a Wisconsin distillery. Wallersheim. Waller, yep. Wallersheim. The bourbon. Wisconsin. Distilled spring. So here's what I like about this. These guys are a, um, a winery in Wisconsin. They were in a winery for a very long time. <laughs> they wanted to start making brandy. Mm -hmm. But it turns out at the time that they attempted to start making brandy, the, the, there were laws against distilling for craft people in Wisconsin. This poor shit. And so around, uh, I can't remember what year it was, 2000, basically at some point in late 2000s, right. they changed the laws in Wisconsin so they could be craft distillers. Right. And these guys started making brandy. Right. And then they would use the brandy to fortify their wines and all this stuff. Right. And then they decided, let's get into whiskey. Yeah. But because they're wine guys, they are serious about seasons and terroir. Hmm. And so they released a bottled and bond whiskey yes. because it features a product only from spring, spring 2020. 2020. So remind people the bottled and bond classification. What are the criteria to get that classification? So, same distiller. Yeah, same distiller, but it has to meet all the qualifications. You can be a bottled and bond rye or a bottled and bond bourbon. Mm -hmm. has to meet all the qualifications of a straight bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, it has to be at least four years old. Mm -hmm. It has to be bottled at exactly 100 proof. Mm -hmm. has to be the product of a single distillery and a single season, season yeah. and single head distiller. Yes. Uh, if it's bottled other than where it's made, mm -hmm. then that has to say that too. So this is spring of 2020. This is spring of 2020, yep. bottled in whatever. Bond. Yeah, <laughs> bottled spring of 2020. So put into the barrel okay. in 2016. Uh, right? So the wineries, the wineries that I know of that actually have done some surprisingly, mm -hmm. surprisingly good whiskeys, they're more often than not coming out of California. Mm -hmm. The Wisconsin, though. I don't think I've ever had a Wisconsin winery yeah. put together a whiskey. Smell and... it. This is the most... Well, yeah. I'll say it. That's the most wickery wood oil what I've ever smelled on a bourbon. What is going on here? I would not have guessed bourbon. I don't know what I would have guessed, but... Yeah. Interesting. That wicker wood oil note is just explodes out of the glass on that first pour. It's like almost uh, like a... I want to say like a beery sour mash kind of. Mm. It's not a sour mash though. Yeah. It's sweet mash. They're not using any back set. They're just starting over every time. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting like now wow. there's sweet notes starting to come forward some, slightly. Some oats, some oatiness in there. Yeah, but it is like some honey oats, granola type of dense flower sweet notes mixed with grass yeah. and grain. Like uh, the natural, the natural wildflowers type of. Mm-hmm. Wow. More of the earth, more of the grass than there are of the flower smell. The more you keep going back to it, the more it unfolds and evolves a little bit. Yeah, this is this is rolling out of the glass layer after layer. Mm -hmm. It's weird, but you know what just popped in my head? Mm -hmm. Is the image of watching guys do taffy with those machines yeah. that constantly spin it and cut with the, through. It starts with the wad. Yeah. And then it just kind of pulls apart. Yeah, and, and then it starts rolling in on itself and they put another color in and it gets strained through it. It is... Very interesting how big mm -hmm. this is in the first approach. You go, whoa, what is that? And the more you keep going back to it, that that bigness, that heft, it softens. That softens a lot, and you're you're basically it becomes a lot more nuanced, a lot more delicate. But still, it starts off heavy-handed, and then it's giving you a little little tender caress. And now I'm gonna see if it gives me a little. Beep. Now the nose is really delicate. I'm looking for the. Beep. No, but it, 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 it. Don't rush it. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I like that. You like that? Beep. Yeah, a little molasses. Little sweet grass. Almost lemongrass. I got some red grape skins. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's then it's oily on the finish. Viscous. Mmm. Mmm. 
Yeah, yeah. D very different. This is a very different whiskey than what I was expecting from that first approach at the nose. That big, heavy-handed, wah, here's some nose smells. Yeah. Enjoy. And it's like, oh, this is going to whip my ass. That becomes very softened and delicate, just living in the nose for a little while. And then you get it in the taste. It's like, wow, this is different. This presents very differently from moment to moment. Mm -hmm. From sip, we'll see if it goes to the next sip. I actually like that. I, you know, I was prepared not to after that first nose. Yeah. But it's come all, all the way back around for me. Give it a minute. That one needs to rest. Yeah. It yeah. needs to open up. Give it a if minute. If there was ever a whiskey that could be uh, benefit from what people call the neck pour, waiting past the neck pour, mm -hmm. this is one of them. I mean, because we're in minute 47 right now, right, of this episode. Oh, yeah. we've been, And we only just now got to where the nose is. You know what that's called? Huh? Due diligence. Patience. Yeah, we edit our videos down to seven and eight minutes, but we shoot for I've five been, hours been here at a time. Since the early morning. Yeah. And you'll see a, a quick jump edit. Usually they're cutting out like three or four hours of us just analyzing and studying. Well, a little bit of water. More grain. More grain, less sweetness, less fruitiness. Although now I do get a, um, a cherry sucker. Like, oh, the like, the with like, the the, loop. like the artificial yeah. cherry flavoring. Smell that and think a sucker. Yeah. I like it better without water. Mm -hmm. There is some really nice sweet elements going on. Yeah, you know, on the taste, it's more bitterness, mm -hmm. more grain. But then it ends with that sweet lingering cherry. Interesting. Yeah. This has rye in it, but I would never have guessed. I would have guessed this was a weeded whiskey. After you put in some water, the ethanol becomes more apparent. Mm -hmm. and the moment you said rye, mm -hmm. I wasn't finding any kind of herbal quality until after the water. After the water. And it's near the finish. And it's dry. A, yeah, faint it's little dry. bit of herbal ryeness. Wallersheim. Let's go off the street whiskey. Okay, yeah, not bad. You're gonna put your nose in there and it's gonna like, you know, you're gonna take a couple steps back. It's like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. You live with it a little bit and then uh, it unfolds. It pulls back the curtain on some really nice stuff. We have the Noel Meyer Mayer. I got a question for our American brethren. What's the what's with the straight bourbon, straight rye, and straight mm. whiskey that I see on most bottles of American whiskey? So this is a Are there crooked or bent varieties? There shouldn't be. There's a bent distilling in Texas. <laughs> um no, so what this is is a designation that meets all the qualifications of a legal bourbon, which means 51% corn, if it's on bourbon, mm -hmm. um, at new oak. Uh, distilled under 180, barrel proof under 125, and that it's at least two years old. So that straight designation is meets all the requirements of all legal bourbon, rye, malt, corn, uh, or malted rye, and then two years old at least. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people aim for that. Yeah. Because if you see the word straight, you know it's at least two, and people who are obsessed with age on whiskey uh, look for that a lot. Uh, I like this half as much with a little bit of water. I do. The more I go back to it with water, mm. it just takes all of that nice sweetness out of there. It leaves me with the grain yeah. and the ethanol. It's way drier. It's a lot drier. And it was hardly any water that you put in there. I think that proof was really the home yeah, yeah, sweet yeah. home the, for that one. What was the proof, by the way? Oh, 50%. Because it's a thing, remember? 100 proof. Remember? It's a thing. Bottled and bought. Tom Carter. I told my wife I saw a deer on the... So this, I read the first half of the first sentence. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of, of statement, the kind of comment that the rhythm, the mm -hmm. pacing, it makes me think there's a stupid dad joke waiting at the end of this. <laughs> we'll see. I told my wife I saw a deer on the way to work. She said, how do you know he was headed to work? Damn it. It's just so dumb. <laughs> Although I really like the imagery of yeah, a deer. Of a deer going to work. His hooves on the steering wheel. Yeah. And the hat. <laughs> the hat. He's like, it's got the sunroof, yeah. the horn sticking up out of the sunroof. Yeah, it's good to open. <laughs> <laughs> really stupid. And then, like, these stupid humans just start trotting across the road and just dodge them. Damn it, every uh, time. Uh, yeah. I like this with asterisks at the proof it is. Um, and 
No, it's the only one. Just that the proof that it is. Mm -hmm. It's good proof. Yeah. Daniel's nodding. He says, yeah. Did we ever do the toast at the end of the last episode? Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver, sorry. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. <laughs>